O pessoal que é o Marcelo Costa, diretamente da semana de, no... de noiva aqui em Nova York. Eu vou nessa beleza aqui, essa modelo linda. E hoje a gente vai estar tá fazendo um look mais contraído. Coming out with the look was the most refreshing idea that we had. Essentially, this looks about looking fashion forward, but based in the past. Bonjour tout le monde, je suis ici à partir pour la semaine de l'occasion avec Karim Marcin et Cromand. Et c'est là que je vais faire une petite explication de tout le produit. Cuenta me le tuyo, ¿cómo estás? Very well, thank you. Uh, bien, muy bien. <laughs> Muchas gracias por estar aquí. Um, cuéntame de sus proyectos. ¿Cómo está la vida? Hace tiempo que no te vemos. El wet look es un estilo espeso utilizado sobre pasarelas. Imita el efecto de capelle pentinati al dietro dopo un baño relaxante, donando una impresión de fresqueza y modernidad. Bonjour tout le monde, c'est Marcelo, je suis à la semaine de la mode à Paris. Bonjour tout le monde, je suis Marcelo, à la backstage de Moxy. Now we are at the Beverly Hilton. This hotel has stood the test of time. At this very pool, many celebrities from, me, from Marilyn Monroe to others have enjoyed this beautiful landscape. Now, it's also the host for the Golden Globes. One of the biggest things about Beverly Hilton is the capacity of gathering as many celebrities during the, um, the award seasons. It can be Grammys, Golden Globes, or the Academy Awards. Now, um, one thing, one fun fact that I learned in my career is this. During that time, um, People call you, your agent book you for many celebrities. So you go from your room to another right at the same day. Usually they, were, they have to be done about one o'clock um, so they can actually make it into the red carpets. So at this very pool, that's where I usually stay um, and waiting for the celebs to call us back in the room. And it can be celebrity, political figures, and many others. As you're preparing them, making sure that your kits are full from hair and makeup so you don't get caught off guard. One of my main things as I'm doing house calls or even uh, seeing clients, celebrities, VIPs is to make sure that both my hair and makeup kit is complete. And what does it include? For my hair kit, I have all tools, hair finishing products, hair extensions, all types of bobby pins, and hair ties, as well as fillers in case if you need to fill it up and up to, as well as um, having the right combination of capes and protected, even robes at times. Once you're doing makeup kits and seeing celebrities, make sure you, you compact your kit, um, having everything you need from foundation to eyelash glue. You never know what you're gonna need. Make sure it's clean and spotless. One of the favorite things I like to do is to be pop, to make a compact kit that doesn't take too much space in the client's room and even doesn't take too much space and it's not as heavy for me to carry around. One of the most important things as you're working with celebrities and as you're doing house calls, work ethics are very important. Being invisible, being in the room without notice. Keep your conversation to a bare minimum, as well as respect your personal space. Be in the room without being noticed, just like a butler. You're there to serve the client and help her or him to accomplish that beautiful day and all the interviews and all the, the, the photos they're gonna need. And what they need is to have a peace of mind and a quiet environment. So keep in mind, don't necessarily engage hotel activities and don't um, engage photographers outside. If anybody asks you questions, the best response would be no comments. I can confirm or deny. Being discreet is very, very important in our line of work so you can be trusted. So be alert. 